No, he's going the wrong way. Forget that. Well, something tells me I think I had to go up. Uh, go up in, from the inside instead of the way I'm going right now. Actually, wait. That was an open window. Really? Where is this lockpick skill? I'm about to buy it if I can. Uh, I would say it's under stealth. Yeah, well, I'm buying it. Apprentice locksmith. Then there's more and more as you progress. Circle when landing on the ground. Double air assassination. And instantly fatal. Really? That has to be upgraded too? Damn, Arno sucks. Oh, come on. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes, man. I thought I was playing Assassin's Creed, not Skyrim. Jeez, I thought the fucking Fallout way of picking locks was horrible. Alright, well, if they're gonna be like that, I'll, I'll ignore the chests for now. That's annoying. Oh, in the knee. Help me. What do I do to get it not occupied is a good question. Let me get this artifact if I can. Thank you. Two out of three pieces. The other one is uh, somewhere. Oh, look. They have another one. Another murder mystery. I want to do that. Can I fast travel by any chance? I think I can. Oh, is this a three-dimensional map? Wow. It's a three-dimensional map. That's actually pretty cool, and it's all in real time, by the way, when you zoom in and zoom out. I'm sure any minute it'll load. <laughs> like, I'm pretty patient, but it, they have definitely upped the load times. Oh, it's over this way. Level two. Well, I'm going to do it. The 
pot the, the potty oh my god i'm off to a fantastic start the body of paul tarragon Sign, uh, signs of extreme violence the body is marked by bruises the arms and legs have been broken A bloody symbol. That's literally blood. The Roman numeral 2 has been written in blood on the door. Controller just vibrated. I'm not sure why. Here we go. Terragon's house. Partially burned letter. My dear Terragon... I increasingly have the sense that I am being watched, no doubt due to the careless revelation of our uh, true identities and the moronic interview given by BG. What a feeble-minded fool, as though people have forgotten. Take care, old friend. Oh, monsieur, I am distraught. Who could have done such a thing? He had not a single enemy. All I know is there was an article in the newspaper that made him very upset. All right. So far, I have four, I believe, of eight. Check the upstairs. You can accuse her. Aha, okay. What's this? Torture devices. A collection of medieval torture instruments arranged in a display... A book, History of France, Volume 4. Four sentences are underlined. God knows who is in the wrong. God knows who covers himself in sin. Disasters will fall upon those who condemn us here. Be it known that all who have opposed us and their descendants will suffer by the hand of God. Jacques de Molay. More instruments. That doesn't count as a new clue. Readers, in this time of change, let France not forget her history. The Inquisition effectively ended in France over 100 years past. If the descendants of the Inquisitors live and walk among us, let us cast our minds back and recall those three infamous prosecutors uh, showing engravings from left to right, de Nogaret, de uh, Marigny, and de Paris. These three are identified by medallions with numerals, medallions which they proudly... Uh, Proudly regarded as numbering of their holy rank. We know today that several other children have changed their names to avoid retribution. We discovered here in Paris the descendant of Philip de Mar Marigny. He is a prosperous merchant, Bernard Grimini of the Ile de la Cité. He gave us the honor of receiving us at his home, where he admires his collection of thumb screws and a chair studded with spikes. So he has the number two, right? Yeah, because from left to right, you have. De Nogaret and then De Marigny. And remember, he, he wrote the bloody two. So it looks like it's going to be Felipe. Uh, oh, no, 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 that's his descendant, Bernard Grimini. Many families change their surnames. In this way, they retreat into anonymity. Thus avoiding the wrath of their victims and their victims' descendants. So basically, it looks like... I think that's it. That's all the clues. But basically, it looks like he had a friend. And I guess the friend got to him. I don't know. Let's review it. Which one is it? This one's already done, right? Yeah. Yeah. Friar Honer became obsessed with his with the predictions of Nostradamus and brought his friend Friar Jean into his obsession. Together they plotted to make one of Nostradamus' predictions come true. He already po poisoned a cask of wine. He served to the elder monks, the eldest of the branches. In a fit of remorse, Friar Jean decided to confess it was in the act of writing this decision in his diary when he was surprised and then strangled. He then attempted to burn it, and then he failed. So this that one's done, but what about this one? So we have the dead body of Paul Tarragon. My dear Tarragon. I've been increasingly sense that I've been I'm being watched. Whoops, my bad. Plus avoiding their victims wrath the wrath of their victims and their victims' descendants. 
God knows who is in the wrong. Those are underlined by Jacuz de Molay. Roman symbol for two. Oh, statement of Madame Tarragon. Wife of victim claims that her husband had no enemies. Mentioned that a newspaper article made him very upset. Yeah, this was the newspaper article. That's the newspaper article. Where was the note? The note to his friend. Given by BG. Bernard Grimini. What a feeble-minded fool. As though people have forgotten. Take care, old friend. I have no clue. I guess the torture devices are supposed to kind of link him to the Inquisitors. But other than that, I don't think it means much. So do I just find this Bernard Grimity? Because it seems very much like it was him. I'm guessing, but I don't know where to go to find him is the problem. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more than one, uh, what do you call it? Magnifying glass. Here we go. There's a couple other areas I can search. There's actually two in different directions. All right, because I was about to accuse her because I didn't know what else I could do. So that's pretty cool. All right, here's a new area. There's actually four clue locations. What's that green supposed to be? Why are they green? I don't know. What are they doing? Now the the green fades. I don't think I don't think they're really anything. They're hoisting around a burning effigy. Where are, where are the other two? It says there's four four locations where the crime could have taken place. I have no clue where the other uh, couple of them are. Maybe the third one only appears after you've fully investigated the other two. All right, so all we know is that I guess this Bernard Grimini guy ended up in the newspaper and it upset him. Because I guess they were the descendants. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm in Grimini's house. Okay, okay, Grimini's house. So is there anything here that I can do anything with? Is there an upstairs? Because right now it doesn't seem like there's anything. Wait, hold on. Well, Is that from hitting stuff? The controller vibrates. Oh, okay, all the shit is on the second floor. I don't know how to access it from the first. Maybe you can't. Oh, fuck. He's dead. Letter from Tarragon. Please be more circumspect in your statements. Only recently have I heard rumors of a woman claiming to be a descendant of Desmolay's line, nosing around in various archives. Centuries may have passed, but passions sometimes have long memories. So now there's a woman apparently involved, nosing around in archives. Alright, Grimini has torture devices. Obviously, let's investigate the body. Is that even something I can investigate? Here we go. Similar to the other victim, this body is covered in deep lacerations... 
broken bones break through this break through the skin. A lifeless hand holds a pendant in the form of a key. It's possible it was torn away from the murderer. So now we have a mysterious key. And there's one one other thing. I wonder where it is. What is it? That's not it. That's just lighting. Oh wait, what's this? One. The Roman numeral one has been written in blood on the wall. All right, well that's all the clues I'm gonna get from Grimini's house. You see how far he jumped? I don't know where the fourth location is. Let's just go to the only other one that's available. Let me guess. Rooftop. Four location, or four things in Deprasis. Collection of medieval torture instruments arranged in a display. A woman just tried to kill me. Me. I managed to wound her, but but she ran off. All right, so she's wounded. I, I, I twisted it away and stabbed her. This is her blood here. Blood leads towards the stairs, so I guess he hurt her and she ran down the stairs. So, what's on the bottom floor? She fled through here. You can see the blood. Thank you. Do you have anything else to uh, say? Just tried to kill me. All right, no. Me. I managed to wound her, but, but she ran off. Blood leads towards the street on the left. I like how they don't do anything to stop him. Look. Blood leads towards the left. So she was bleeding out like crazy, basically. Can't see. Blood leads towards the left. Into the graveyard. Here we go. Murderer's blood trail has led me to this house. Actually, never mind. It leads me down here. What the? Oh, no, that's a guy. Here we go. What's this? A bloody handprint on the wall. The blood stops at the door. The locked house. Well, there's only one clue. They glory in their ancestors' deeds. Vile torturers. Think we found the killer. They glory in their ancestors' deeds. Vile torturers. By the way, there's uh, an artifact. <laughs> where, where is it? You, you keeping it from me? I got all three. Yeah, so I need to do this to get it. All right. It's her. See, it's her. Their ancestors decimated the Templar Order. They deserve to die horribly. Got her. That was uh that was pretty simple. That wasn't anything uh too extreme.
it started out like it was going to be extreme, you know, like it was going to be like a pretty in-depth thing. Like maybe, you know, these friends started to kill each other off, but eh, it, it kind of became pretty linear after examining a couple of different houses. You should not have put me here. I was writing an ancient wrong. Cool. Now you're here. Any fool could have figured that one out, I imagine. Still, take a weapon if you like. Yeah, it wasn't as hard once you went, went to the uh, the other ones. Some shady characters mixed up in this one, eh? All right, we're done. I'll give that one a four. One, eh? What else do we have? Using the old noggins, retrieve famous severed heads for Madame Tussaud. I'm in trouble. It's a tough one, isn't it? No, I'm not even on a case right now. What are you talking about, mate? If I was on a case, I don't, I don't want to do this one. I haven't even figured out the other one. Where is it? Where do I start it? 